Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You join me here inside my E30 Touring for another episode continuing our UK's Greatest Driving Road series. The reason I'm inside the car is because you might be able to hear the wind is absolutely insane at the minute. It's early October, so the weather is starting to flip and we just thought it'd be easier to film this intro inside the car to preserve the audio. So let's take a look at the map and I'll show you the route that I'm planning to do today. Okay, so we are currently near the Stang Forest, which is about where this orange line is. Uh, near where it meets this main road here. Now our route is going to take us back north towards the A66 and then we're actually going to go uh, to Barnard Castle, through Barnard Castle and then up on this road, the B6278 towards Stanhope. At that point we'll cross over and we'll continue heading north up towards Derwent Reservoir and that's going to be where this route ends. It's not a massively long route, I think it's about 35 miles. However, there are some excellent driving roads along this route many of which we have filmed on before. So I'm very much looking forward to kind of showing you those in a bit more detail and also admiring some of the stunning scenery that exists, particularly on this stretch over the moors as we climb higher up. So anyway, let's get on with the route. We've got to kind of continue back towards Barna Castle from here. So we'll be heading down again through the Stang Forest and I'll catch up with you a little bit later on. <laughs> Okay, so now you join us just outside of Eggleston. Um, so we've done the kind of Stang Top, Stang Forest road there. It's one that I really enjoy. We have filmed a few videos down there, as I mentioned. Uh, they've actually cut down a lot of the trees that were there now because they regularly deforest it and then replant new trees. But it's quite different because when we've been there in the past, you've got very, very sort of tall trees either side of the road, which is cool. Uh, but obviously it's a little bit different at the minute. But yeah, it's a great road. There's some narrow sections, some twisty sections. Uh, and as we move out onto this next set of roads, it really opens up and gets a lot faster, which I'm excited about. So let's have a look at the map and see what's coming up next. Okay, so we are just on the B6278, which runs up this way. So we've just come past this junction at the bottom. And as you can see, it's we've got a few curves and things in here. And actually when we go down the road, it is kind of twistier in some sections, but there's a lot of open straight bits as we climb up into the moors. And um, the scenery really gets beautiful as well, which we'll try and show you. So anyway, I think it's about time that we cracked on down this next set of roads. I'll see you back in the car.
Okay, so you join us now at the top of Crawley Side Bank. That's just the other side of Stanup. Um, we've come down that main road over the moors and into Stanup now. It's a fantastic stretch. It's definitely one of my favorite in the area. As you can see from the footage, there's a lot of kind of open and flowing bits. There's a few twistier bits. There's a nice chicane, some very nice scenery indeed. Uh, so yeah, that's a really great piece of road. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the map of the final section up to Derwent Reservoir. So here's Stanup. We are just the other side of that on this white road here and we're going to basically be heading north. This again is quite an open flowing stretch actually from what I recall. I've only actually driven it I think once or twice and then that's going to bring us up to Derwent Reservoir which is going to be the end of our route today. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this road turns out. Uh, like I say there should be some good open stretches. So yeah let's hit the road and see what it's like. <music> Okay guys, so you join us at the finish line here, Derwent Reservoir. This is a huge reservoir actually, but it's a great place to end the journey. And it's actually a journey through three different counties, which is kind of the impressive thing with this route. We started in North Yorkshire, we then headed north through County Durham, and finally now we are in Northumberland, which is the county that borders Scotland. So yeah, it's, it's been a great little drive that actually. It's definitely something you could do in an hour, maybe an hour and a half if you wanted to and it's definitely worth doing, particularly if you're in the, if you're in the Northeast. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it's been good to see the E30 back out on the road again. I know a few of you guys have messaged me asking about that. Speaking of which, you can follow us on Instagram at foot.2.pedal. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.